World Meta Adventures. My name is Lee. Welcome to Mage Productions, kinda. Um, I'm gonna be reviewing models now. That's cool. First up, I have Lady of the Lake from Carol Carol Rudrick Art. I'm probably not saying that right, but sorry. Cool models. I have the bust as well as the 75 millimeter full model. And yeah, let's look at them. So for this, I have two models. Um, I have the one tenth scale bust and then the 75 millimeter model. And we'll look at the 75 millimeter first and we'll look at this one second. Um, I have already gone through and cleaned up a bit of it. But so opening it, you get a little bag. It has all the little pieces in there. <sighs> popcorn. I hate popcorn. And you also get uh, a numbered card. So this is 23 of 200. It has the cool art on it. And then a business card, I guess, which is really neat. It's all shiny and stuff. All right. So let's move that out of the way. And let's look at the model itself. I'll put these over here so I don't mess them up. So for the model, now I did already go in and clean this up. Um, I haven't touched the bust yet, so we'll get to see kind of how that looks there. But she comes in four pieces. It's the body, the sword, and then she's got two arms. Um, and they're really little. They're super tiny. So she kind of goes in the base like so. And she lines up pretty well. There's a um, little notch here that goes into the base. So she doesn't quite fit, which is a little annoying, but that's all right. It's good enough. The details on her though, let me see if I can get this crappy little camera to focus. So some details on her. You can see like the filigree on her dress, which is really nice. Um, she's got like some bars right there. There's a little open spot where skin comes out and she's got this really cool crown on. But so this is my second slash third of the, uh, Carol Rudrick. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, models. I also have Lost Soul that I got as a gift and it's, they're absolutely stunning. The model work is fantastic. The details are amazing. Probably one of the nicer models that I've had. So, and then you can look at the base. It has like some water ripples in it and some leaves, which is cool. And the sword itself, which I haven't cleaned up the sword yet, so there's still some, some kind of flashings there and needs some love. But it looks really good. It's a little flimsy. You can see it bends a bit. So hopefully I won't break it. But so what I'm most worried about with this model is the way that her hands sit. Oh, let's get it facing the right way. So this is supposed to sit in like right here ish I guess and her arms kind of go in it's so tiny and then this one goes in here I tried to do some fitting with some sticky tack just to see if I could get it to line up right and usually depending on the model I'll do some small bits of assembly and not do full assembly. But for this one, just because of how her hands sit and the way that the sword sits across her chest and all that, so eh, I might do a full assembly on her before I paint, which I'll probably regret, but that's fine. It's whatever. She looks good though. 
Yeah, so this is the 75 millimeter model, which isn't quite 75 millimeters. I can, here, let's measure it. Zoom this back out. And let's get our handy dandy measuring tape. So I guess she is, looking at that, she's about 80. About 80 millimeters. And then the sword is a little bit bigger than she is. Getting close to 90. So, she just looks so little. All right, so that's the 75 millimeter one. I'm gonna pack it all up. So this is the one tint scale bust, um, which I have opened and looked through, but I haven't cleaned any of her up yet. So, and again, this comes with another card. It's numbered. This is number forty out of two hundred, or ten, ten, I guess. Cool. Um, yeah. So let's look at these. This one's a lot bigger. Let's zoom in. All right. So you can see a bit more of the detail on her face and this crown and that work on her dress. So she's going to be a blast to paint. Again, very smooth, great casting. Um, they're both made out of high quality resin. Um, and you can see there's some flashing here and a bit there so that won't be too hard to clean up but she looks great and then her sword which is just gigantic if I can get out of the bag there's her sword so again she's got some some minor cleanup, um, nothing a razor won't be able to take care of. This part right here, I'm a bit worried about. Um, but we'll look at that in just a minute. So you can see all the work in her nails, and there's, there's etchings in the sword, which would be really cool to get some paint in there and make it glow or something. That'd be neat. Let's look at e. All right. Yeah, there's the handle. So again, some more cleanup. Um, it looks like I have to punch through there and then take that off. But so this is what I was interested in seeing in the sword. There's a notch there. So it looks like for cleanup just kind of paying attention to getting these flashings off the side and off the top and keeping that that bit right there so you can slide the sword in there and yeah there's some our elbow but again little mold lines nothing too drastic on both sides the details are just incredible it's interesting because on the 75 millimeter, um, the little like resin fill holes, these things right here, um, and on her elbow, they're in the same spot on the small one as for the big one. So that's pretty cool. Fits well. Teeny tiny little gap, but nothing I'm super concerned with. Because I'm not, I, these aren't cleaned up, I'm not going to get both arms on, but kind of looking at that. Look at that. That sword's so big. Wow. The hand fits well, though. So that's good. Kind of sits right there in her chest. Oh. Hmm. So that's interesting. So with her arm pressed in, getting in right there and then she's got an indent right there so 
her hand fits right there, but then there's a lot of space between the sword and her chest. But getting it in the sword and the chest, there's more of a gap again. So it'll just kind of be playing with it to see what angles to get those at, to get it to line up to look a little bit better. Yeah, these are great though. Um, so for the the bust, well, let's, let's put her away before I get too carried away. So then for the bust and the um, 75 millimeter model, the bust is 59 euros. Um, the 75, the 75 millimeter model is 55 euros. So they're not exactly the cheapest, but the quality is really great. Um, the cover art's awesome. They're all numbered. They're limited edition, so there's only 200 of each. When they're gone, they're gone and I'm pretty sure they don't make any additional ones after the initial sale so if it's something you're interested in hop on it while you can yeah they're neat thanks guys